Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. My name's Roland, and today we're going to do a steel trimmer brush blade installation. We're going to be installing this blade to the head of the steel FS91. And don't tell my wife we're using her patio furniture to prop up our steel trimmer so we can add the blade to it. That wouldn't be good. So this is what we need for the job for installing this brush blade. We need this wrench. We're also going to need this. We'll call that a thingamajig. We're going to need the adapter cup. Now this adapter cup, this is a brand new steel FS91 and a new brush blade kit. So on the older kits, this washer here came separate. It wasn't attached to the adapter cup like this, so they've made it easier. We're going to need the locking nut and we're also going to need the brush blade. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the thingamajig and we're going to put it in the back of the trimmer head here. Now there's a hole up here, you'll see it. I'll turn this around to show you. Hopefully you can see this hole. This is where the thingamajig goes. Goes in there like this. Now what that does, it locks the head like this so that you can turn the spool off of here. So you're going to want to grab this tight, turn it clockwise, and we'll take it off. So there you go, your spool is off. And this plate here will come off, it'll just fall off. As you can see, here's the thinger majig tool. It pokes through here, and it grabs onto this groove here in the back of this plate. So here we have the blade. So the blade, as you can see, has teeth going only one way. Um, an easy way to tell which is the top of the blade that goes up first like this is there's print here. But if this print ever wears out, you'll know because the blade, the teeth of the blade are going to be pointing this way. And when you put it up here like this, it's going to turn clockwise. You want the teeth to turn clockwise because if you put it this way, when the blade turns clockwise, It'll be going against the back of the teeth and it won't cut. So we'll spin that around so that the teeth are going clockwise and they'll be able to cut. And we're going to take this plate. Now see this plate has like a, a washer sticking through kind of thing. You want to stick that into the center of the blade like this. And then you're going to put this up over here onto the shaft. And now it's, it has splines, so you have to get it right. So you're going to hold your thingamajig tool, and you're going to spin this until it catches into that plate. Now, it may fall out, but you can fix that after. Now you're going to take your adapter cup, put that in place, try to hold everything in one place, one spot. You almost need three hands for this job. So now you're going to put the locking nut on and you're going to spin that backwards because it's reverse threads. We'll just snug it up to where we can adjust everything and make sure everything's in place. So we're going to take the wrench and we're just going to snug it up a bit more. Now that we have the blade centered, the nut's almost tight. We've got the thingamajig tool in the back. The head is locked. Now we're going to tighten this up. And the thingamajig tool locks up the head here so that you can tighten this up. You want to make sure that's good and tight so that your blade don't fall off. And also you want to make sure that your blade is centered properly on that plate that I showed you. Because if this is off just a little bit, it's going to vibrate like crazy. Now that everything's snugged up, you know that this has been centered on that plate washer because we checked that before we snugged it up right. Because if this blade wasn't centered properly, it would wobble, it would drive you crazy, and you would probably burn a bearing out in the head of your trimmer. So now at this point, you can take the thingamajig tool out, and you're good to go. As you can see, that's a pretty easy install of the brush blade on the steel trimmer. Anybody could do it. And if you've never used the brush blade on your trimmer before, you're going to love it. This thing is amazing. And saying that, I did a video about two weeks ago when I bought this steel trimmer. I tried it out and I also put the brush blade on, tried it out, and you can see that video right at the end of this video. So with that, 
hit the subscribe button on your way out, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.